Hi, this is Siraj. I'm the founder of Temenos, and I have been a student of uh, organization and personal transformation for 25 years. This presentation is a summary of the experiences I've had in interviewing uh, close to 2,000 people in understanding how they are personally transforming and how their containers are transforming. Um, what I'd like to start off with initially is the layout of Temenos. And in this slide, what you see is the Temenos of the Great War of Mahabharata. And you see two players there, that's Krishna and Arjun. And we are going to find out what is the Temenos about and who are these two players. Let's move to the concept of archetypes. The two players that you see there are what I call as archetypes in a transformation. And uh, in this specific case, the two key archetypes you're seeing are Krishna and Arjun. And as we go along, you'll see more and more archetypes that I've identified. So let's talk about the various types of change agents and the archetypes that they play. And um, you know, to take a little bit of a deep dive into archetype, it's the meaning that Carl Jung gave, the basic native personality and image that shows up when human beings are in a mode of transformation. Let's go to the first archetype that I want to talk about, and that is the pioneer. In this case, the slide that you're seeing is of Jessica Watson, who at age 17 circumnavigated the world all alone. Um, amazing woman, but really she is a pioneer. The transformation agents that I'm working with are also pioneers. And there's more. They are not just pioneers, they are also nomads. Now, what you're seeing in this slide is Jane Goodall, the, the famous uh, Jane, who I would say is a nomad. She's traveled across several cultures, studied several animals. And, and what kind of a transformation agent she is, is the kind of transformation agent I see in all my organizations. Almost every key influencer was a nomad who then became a pioneer. But pioneers and nomads are not enough. They need another archetype, and that archetype is what I call as a co-sufferer. Transformation for me is about suffering. And successful transformations are about evenly balancing the load of suffering across several people. The co-sufferer, in this case, is about offering a service to the pioneer and the nomadic change agents to have their suffering shared with another person. This is a key archetype that I see in service of personal and organizational transformation. Let's move on. Um, another archetype that I talk about is the charioteer. So in the original picture of the Temenos with uh, Krishna and Arjun, uh, Krishna is the charioteer. He is someone who goes ahead of the pioneer. So this could be a mentor or an advisor, someone who's already been there and done that, or at least knows what is the journey ahead for the pioneer. Moving on, uh, the next uh, archetype that I want to talk about is Prometheus. Prometheus, if you remember the Greek myth, is the titan, half man, half god, who stole the divine fire of transformation from Zeus and then was um, punished by Zeus to be uh, tortured every day by the eagle of Zeus coming and eating his liver. How does this play in our transformation world? I see change agents who are geniuses, who have tremendous insight into the transformation experience, but their other goal is self-sabotage. They are setting themselves up to be martyrs, to be fired. And I'm sure you know several of your friends, or maybe you've yourself been a Prometheus. So this is an archetype I watch for because they bring tremendous energy, but they also bring the element of sabotage. Related to Prometheus is his brother, Atlas. Atlas is the guy or girl that holds the container, the Temenos of transformation. I watch for Atlas because Atlas has the ability to bring and convene the gatherings that are required for transformation to be happening and to be spoken about from the point of view of telling stories of transformation. Now, um, let's look at what these archetypes are doing. And I call this as dynamics. And dynamics for me means the strategies for success and the strategies for sabotage. The first strategy that I've seen all archetypes do is what I call as vision. And this slide that you're looking at is a slide of my friend Jim McCarthy's vision, where while he was talking about his vision for his organization, the Buddhist community, he saw an eagle. And that, according to me, is the eagle 
of the God who is carrying his vision. The vision is what brings the archetype into the zone of the temenos to be a good change agent, but the vision is what brings all the archetypes together from a point of view of a shared vision. Uh, another archetype uh, uh, dynamic that I want to talk about is what I call as discernment. It's the ability of the archetype to rule their mind. It's their ability to understand what is happening to them and then to parse, discern all the events and thoughts and dreams as either a distraction and a fantasy and then focus on what I call as life purpose. So discernment is about being uh, in your life purpose and separating other things like distractions and fantasies. Next is the dynamic of showing courage. I feel that uh, archetypes are about stepping out of bounds and displaying courage in the moment. Courage is good, but it's not useful. The thing that I've seen that distinguishes uh, archetypes working towards sabotage and working towards success is the guys that are working on success have courage and then they bring onto it another unique ability which is about being in grace. For them it's not just about showing their ego and their pride and their uh, knowledge and genius but also about helping the container to transform in a very graceful and inclusive manner. Uh, another uh, dynamic that I want to talk about is what I call as clean slate. Clean slate is the ability of an archetype to engage in transformation either self or organization or other and then leave that place with no baggage. Sort of like an absolute crystal clear dedication to having a fresh start all the time. Clean slate for me happens at five levels. The obvious level is at conversation, thought, action, but there is also two more deeper levels. One is what I call as clean slate at a dream level and next is a clean slate at a stance level. I'll give five more uh, dynamics very quickly. One is what I call as attunement. Attunement is the ability of an individual to enter into the mind of the other person and to explore everything that this person has to offer. It's when an archetype is in his or her life purpose and discovers the true life purpose of the other person. Then this is, uh, attunement is at a one-to-one. -one. The next is what I call as sympathy. It's one to many or many to many. It's the ability to discover what is happening in everyone's mind at a collective level and then to thrive in the group. Another uh, dynamic that I want to talk about is equipoise. Um, equipoise is the ability of an archetype to look at what is happening in their mind and to correct and find uh, uh, opportunities for improvement while the person is talking or experiencing or thinking. It's a self-correction mechanism that I see in several of the archetypes. Next is Metis. Um, I describe Metis simply as the ability of a change agent to amass vast amounts of information and then parse and index it, like being a Google of himself or herself. Lastly, the dynamic that I have paid very good attention to is what I call as limerence. Limerence is simply a desire for a higher sort of connection. The archetype wants to be connected to all the archetypes and then to the super archetype of you know, either God or a greater spirit and is always looking for opportunities to be in that state of limerence. And that's what I call over here as the moment of temenos, the moment when the archetype is in true life purpose of bringing everything that the container wants into that particular moment. And uh, finally, I just wanted to give a quick introduction to myself. This is me. Uh, I'm in my most famous Temenos and container. It's the Southwest Boeing 737 cockpit. When I go into a Southwest airline, what I like to do is to see how I can beg, borrow, steal, or seduce the pilot to let me sit in his seat and take a picture of me. So this is Mikey of Southwest taking a picture of me. Thank you very much. I look forward to having you at Temenos. Goodbye.